Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The U.S. Air Force is responsible for the transportation of large amounts of vehicles, equipment, and personnel around the world. One effective solution for this is by using cargo planes. These mammoth planes can carry huge payloads that other aircraft simply cannot. So what happens on an average day for one of these monster-sized machines? The C-5 Galaxy is one of the largest cargo planes ever made. At full capacity, it weighs up to 420 tons and can travel for 2,300 nautical miles. The C-5 has an impressive maximum cargo load of 140.5 tons, and it measures in at 247 feet long and 65 feet tall. Its four General Electric TF39GE1C turbofan engines give it a top speed of 540 miles per hour. The C-5 Galaxy has been used to transport vital supplies for the military for decades. It proved instrumental in Vietnam, being able to transport 98% of the Army's equipment. Since then, the U.S. military has used the C-130 in every other major conflict. Airmen are regularly trained in the maintenance of the C-5 to keep it operational. Soldiers undergo cold load training to prepare them for future missions. Regular upgrades to the aircraft are expected to keep the C-5 in service until 2040. The C-5 Galaxy has both front and rear cargo openings. This means it can be loaded and offloaded simultaneously. Tracked and wheeled vehicles can also be driven straight through the cargo area, which makes loading and unloading considerably faster. The Galaxy features a kneeling landing gear system that brings the cargo floor level with a truck for easy loading. Furthermore, the Galaxy has a roller system installed, which makes light work of handling palletized equipment. In roughly 90 minutes, it can load 36 fully loaded pallets. The Galaxy has been used extensively for the transportation of military vehicles. In Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan, aircrew loaded not one, but three Apache helicopters into a C-5. Each helicopter weighs over 11,000 pounds and is about 18 meters long. Having the option to transport vehicles in this manner is a great logistical solution for the U.S. Air Force. Other forms of transportation, such as land or sea, can be slower and overall costlier. Considering its giant size, the C-5 has the ability to take off and land on surprisingly short runways. At full cargo capacity, it can take off with just 12,200 feet of runway and land with 4,900 feet. These short takeoff distances are possible due to the four powerful turbofan engines mounted under the wings. The Galaxy features a high flotation landing gear that has 28 wheels. Tire changes and brake maintenance are simplified thanks to the landing gear's ability to individually raise each set of wheels, allowing easy access for maintainers. Once on the ground, aircrew and guide cars are used to taxi the Galaxy until it is ready for unloading. The four powerful turbofan engines enable the Galaxy the ability to make short turns while taxiing. This is a highly beneficial capability, as emergency situations require the Galaxy to land on less than ideal surfaces. At RAF Fairford, Crew are going through local trainings to get to grips with the aircraft. Cargo is offloaded from the rear ramp 
and taken away by truck for onward transportation. Another cargo plane utilized by the Air Force is the C-17 Globemaster III. Since its maiden flight in 1991, the C-17 has become one of the most versatile cargo planes all over the world, carrying over 170,000 pounds at full payload. The C-17 can reach speeds of over 500 miles per hour at 174 feet long with a 170-foot wingspan. The C-17 takes off with just three crew members, the pilot, co-pilot, and load master. Palletized cargo and military vehicles are loaded onto the C-17 via a large aft ramp. Most oversized combat equipment can be easily carried into the cargo bay. The C-17 is perfect for dropping supplies by parachute. Paratroopers are also airdropped to their required locations. A cargo plane smaller than the C-17 is the C-130 Hercules. This aircraft specializes in dropping supplies and troops into hostile areas. The impressive versatility of the C-130 makes it one of the most utilized aircraft in the U.S. Air Force. It has the ability to operate from rough dirt strips and other uneven terrain. The basic airframe on the C-130 has been modified extensively to meet different mission requirements through the years. With over six decades since its original design, the C-130 has recorded over 20 million plus flight hours. The typical day of a C-130 might look a bit different from other cargo planes. The C-130J Super Hercules' powerful performance and tactical abilities have been effectively utilized to accomplish critical missions in an austere environment where other airframes have fallen short. Its multiple capabilities include airlift, wet wing defueling, aeromedical evacuation, an airdrop of troops and equipment into hostile areas. On April 20th, 2018, the 774th Expeditionary Airlift Squadron took off from Bagram Airfield in a C-130J Super Hercules to airdrop supplies to a secret location in Afghanistan. Operating under the cover of darkness, aircrew unleashed multiple crates to resupply troops on the ground. Sometimes, supplies need to be delivered to locations without traditional concrete runways. Special Operation Airmen prepare the dirt the runway. Making use of trucks and motorbikes to quickly cover ground. Heavy-duty radios are used to maintain contact at all times. As the C-130J lands, large clouds of dust are knocked up into the air. The C-17 has also operated from some more difficult airstrips. It has successfully landed at the McMurdo Station, Antarctica, as part of Operation Deep Freeze. Here, the C-17 supports the National Science Foundation and U.S. Antarctic program by providing air and sea lift services. Landing on these icy runways is a challenging task that is overcome by the C-17. C-17s are also required to land and take off from dirt runways with no air traffic control in place. C-17 
Serious adjustments need to be made on these makeshift runways to ensure the safe operations of aircraft. Officers from the 621st Mobility Support Operation Squadron offer a 24-7 service to help prepare the runway. Dirt runway inspections are regularly carried out with measurements taken. Radio communication is used to maintain contact with air crew in flight. Weather conditions also need to be reported on and forecasted for incoming and outgoing flights. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.